All right, guys, welcome back. So hopefully by now you messed around with these uh, pan knobs and you used your creativity here to create somewhat of an image with these uh, tonal samples. But let's move on. All right. So we have intro right here. This is our verse one, right? It's really short, short but this is verse one. Uh, this is our chorus. And now we need to do what's called the turnaround. It's the section that happens before the singer comes back in or before the second verse starts or the next verse uh, starts. All right. So what we're going to do is let's see. Um, let's take this marumba synth and let's bring that over. Remember, hold option, click and drag, let go of the mouse first. Boom. So we're going to use that. OK. And uh, one thing that I forgot to mention in the last video is we need to see if the if the session is in the same key as the as the song. Right. So the song is in the key of E major. Right. That's the key that your samples are in. You're going to go up here to the display mode drop down. You're going to click on that and we're going to go up to beats and samples or beats and project. Right. Click on that. See where it says C major right here. We need to click on that. Our song is not in C major. It's in A major, right? So here's C major. This is what Logic thinks the song is in. We're going to take it up A major. Click on that. Is this incredibly important to do for every session? No. In fact, I don't do it very often, but uh, sometimes I need to do it. And this is something that you need to know how to do. So A major. Boom. All right. So now that we've done that, let's see. Let's see if there's anything in the loops library that we can use because um, we've only got one, two, three, four. We've got four different sample loops, tonal ones. Um, let's see what's in the in the loops library. So let's go up here. The uh, shortcut for the loops browser or the loops library is O, the letter O. So I'm just going to hit the letter O. And here are all your samples. You see these blue ones? These blue ones are audio samples. And these right here, these green ones are MIDI. So you can adjust these. You can change these MIDI ones. You cannot change the audio ones. Very important to keep in mind. OK, so let's go up here to scale. This is cool because you can like there's so many. Look, I'm scrolling, right? Look at all these samples that Logic has. Scroll through that. There's there's a lot. I don't know if it's thousands, but it's a lot. All right. So say that you need to, to look for a certain type or certain key um, signature or scale sample, right? For your song. So let's go to scale. See what says any. We're going to click on that. And we are on a major. So we want to go down to major. All right. Now that's going to give us every sample that logic has in, in um, the scale of major is going to show up right there. But let's take this one step further. Let's go to signature, right? Any, we're going to click on that. We're going to go four, four. Boom. So now all of the four, four samples in, in that are major um, in the major keys are right here. Now, what we need to do is this is kind of like a pop ish. It could be a, a pop urban joint. So let's go to genre right here. And this these are all the genres that that are in here sample wise or loop wise. Uh, let's select, uh, let's see, let's select hip hop. Let's select that one right there, hip hop. And let's select our, uh, hip hop and R&B. So cool. We got those two. And now if you look right here, under here, you're going to see all these samples and all of these loops. MIDI is green, remember, and audio is blue. And if you look where it says key, you'll see. This sample's in the key of E. This one's in the key of A, 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 D, B. See all that? And uh, yeah, so let's audition some of these. Uh, we do have a keys. We have piano at the beginning, but we don't have piano anywhere else. Let's try um, chords. Let me see. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to click on this. All you have to do is click on it one time like this. And then you click it again to, to shut it up or to stop it. Um, that's cool. Let's let's move on. We don't need a bass. Um, let's see what's this come up. Uh, rhythmic keys. Let's click on that. OK, that's in the key of E. Uh, see where it says Tem. Like if I grab this, if I grab this uh, page from right here and I move this, you can see things better. But you see where it says Tem. If you hold your mouse over that, that's that's the tempo right there between the heart and the key tempo and see how 
it says 80. Now, obviously, our 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 session is is 100 BPMs. But the beautiful thing about these samples, the audio ones, when you drag them and you drop them in, they'll sync to whatever tempo your session is in. And so will these MIDI loops, especially the MIDI loops. Um, so this is at 80. I don't know that I like that, but let's grab it and let's drag it to where there is no track. Right. And we're going to drag it right here to, to measure 17. See that? And we're going to drop it now to close this window. The loops window, just hit O, the letter O on the keyboard. And cool. Here we go. This is actually. Boom. This is actually not eight bars. I don't know why it said eight on there, but um, so cool. This is it right here. This is our sample. Uh, come up rhythmic keys. So what we're going to do is we need you see how this marumba is actually eight bars. So we need to extend this eight bars. So we're just going to hold option. We're going to click on it. We're going to drag it this way, right? Command Z. Let's undo it. What's the other way? Do you remember? I'm going to tell you right now. Command, tap the letter R, boom. Now you have two. So let's listen to what that sounds like. Actually, you go ahead and listen. And then when you come back, we'll, we'll listen to it on my end to make sure it sounds the same. All right, welcome back. So I'm going to hit play. I actually like that. I actually like that. I'm going to take that and I'm going to uh, pan it minus, uh, I don't know. I'm going to pan mine minus 25 to the left. You can pan yours however you want, but pan it. And I'm also going to grab the volume and I'm going to bring this down, say, to uh, minus 4.3 dB. Uh, you can mix it. We're mixing as we go. Are you noticing that we're mixing as we go? So see, here's, this is the track, except I don't want this, uh, come up rhythmic keys thing. So I'm going to double click there and I'm just going to call this, um, I like, it sounds very like, uh, floaty. So I don't know. I'm going to call this glitter keys. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Glitter keys. I like that name. All right, cool. So we have somewhat of a turnaround right now. Let me, let's see if we can make this make sense. So we have a verse. This is our verse right here, right? It's eight bars long. We need to create that verse again. So there's two things we can do. We can either copy and paste this over by dragging and dropping it, or we can hit uh, copy and paste, which would be command C and uh, command V. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this, and we're going to drag up so that all of this is selected, right? Because this is our, this is our verse. So if we take this, if we take what we've selected again, all I did was I clicked at the bottom, I dragged up and I highlighted all of this. So I'm going to hold option. I'm going to click and drag this and I'm going to let it go at measure 21. And something weird happened. All right, so we're going to try that again. That was actually really weird. So again, hold option, click, drag, and we're going to drag that to measure 21. Let go of the mouse first. Boom. So now we have a turnaround, and now we have this thing, this second verse. I'm going to play it from 19 because I want to hear what it sounds like uh, coming out of the turnaround into the second verse. So let's see. how I feel about that. I know what's bugging me, I think. It's this mid-range. So let's click on this mid-range in verse one, right? In this area in verse one, let's click on it and let's get rid of it. And then let's go to the second verse and let's click on that and let's get rid of it here. And the other thing I think I want to do is I want to bring our glitter keys right here. I want to bring these glitter keys. I'm going to copy them one more time. Command R, boom. I'm going to bring them into that second verse to see what that sounds like. Uh, some of you are saying, why? What? I don't understand this whole second verse thing. So let me explain to you, right? Uh, I'm going to hit play and then I'm going to mumble some stuff like I'm singing. But, you know, you can laugh under your breath. Don't laugh while I'm walking around the room because I'll know you're laughing at me. <laughs> All right, here we go. So let's just say this is your, your turnaround. 
Second verse, one, two. Think about the day. really like see i really like that i really like the little glittery keys so i'm gonna keep that going i'm gonna keep it going all right so i'm gonna teach you one more skill one more function in logic and then i'm gonna get out of your way so you can have some fun messing around with this again uh and that is coloring tracks okay so if you click uh, um i always color my tracks red right now they're green i'm gonna color them red because that's just something i've been doing since i was i don't know 17 or 18 years old. So I'm going to click right here on kick, right? And then I'm going to go down to where it says after party. I'm going to hold shift and I'm going to click. That's going to select all of these tracks right here. See that? Again, kick, hold shift, click at after party, and that's going to do that. Once you've done that, you're going to hold control. You're going to click. And then you're going to go down to where it says assign track color. And we're going to click on that. Now, right now, see how everything is like blah, 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 all this crazy madness. We're just going to go to this one right here, red. And see when I click red, everything here turned red. See that? I'm going to do the same thing with... Um, these uh the samples so the samples that were external the ones we brought in from that folder are all right here i'm going to click on this first one all right then i'm going to hold shift and i'm going to click down to where it says vocal chops and on this one we're going to keep it blue uh, i don't know why they all didn't there we go so see how now the track is blue obviously and then this one right here this is a logic sample so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold, I'm going to hold control. I'm going to click right here on the track number. I'm going to go back to assign track color. Click on that. And I am going to color this track uh, pink, right? So now the tracks, the tracks are colored, right? If we pull up the mixer, press the letter X. Look, now you know that red is your drums. You know that blue is your external samples, right? Right here. And you know that your pink is your glittery thing, right? Let's close the mixer, X. Go have fun, color your stuff, go move some stuff around, explore before you go to the next tutorial. If you haven't mastered everything, go back, watch the tutorial again. Have a good one, guys. See you next time.